Alright everybody, my name is Jake, also known as Physics Pixel, and uh, welcome to Welcome to Game of Thrones, uh, Iron from Ice, episode 1, and I know this game's been out for a while, but I haven't played it yet, and I am a really big Game of Thrones fan. I've watched all the way up to uh, season 5 so far. I haven't watched through season 5 yet, but um, I'll be getting there soon. I guess I'll only watch on Xbox, because I don't have H HBO on my TV, I guess, because my you know parents are cheap and shit. Who cares? That's not the whole point of this. We'll be playing Game of Thrones Iron from Ice because the Game of Thrones universe is such a great universe and I love it. It's one of my favorite ever and uh, we're going to... Uh, why cannot my... Uh, what's up with my stream here? Hold on. It says it'll be starting soon. I don't get it. Alright. Uh... Let's go back to the control room real quick. Sorry. We're good. All right. Um. Hold on. Okay. Let's go back to the watch page. Huh. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and start the game up. Um. Uh, hold on, I'm... One second. For some reason, it's not showing. For some reason, it's not showing up right now. What is up with this? Alright, well, hopefully other people can see it, so I don't know. Uh, it needs to go live, I swear to God. I'm gonna be pissed. There we go, we're live now. Thank you so much. Let's meet that. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start playing Game of Thrones, episode one for Iron from Ice. And I have no idea why they call it like that, but we'll find out. We're playing through all episodes so far that are out, and I'm assuming there's five of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and play those. <laughs> and a lot of loading. All right, we're good. We're live. Ooh, I can play as different people. Hold on. It's down 480 because I don't want to use it my bandwidth. Uh, I can't. I don't know if I can play as different people. Let's go to settings. Make sure we have, uh... uh make sure we have, um... Oh, what do you call it? The subtitles on. We want subtitles on. Here we go. Let's, let's put our brightness at six. Uh, music volume. Oh man, let's put that down a little bit. Let's put that at four. No idea how loud that's gonna be. Okay. You know, what? let's put that up. Let's put that at five. We'll see how that goes. If we get any copyrights, rates, we'll lower the volume for the next stream, I guess, or something like that. Gameplay. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, invert. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah, standard. Okay. Let's go back and start the game. Shit, come on. Let's go to play. Welcome to Game of Thrones. Yes, let's play. Begin episode one. The Northern will never forget Tyrion Lannister. Yes, I know he said that. One of my favorite characters in the Game of Thrones universe. Such a big... So how many episodes are there? There's five. There's six episodes. All right. Sweet, sweet. Well, we're going to start with episode one. So let's start that. Iron from Ice. Let's see how this kicks off, because I've never even seen, I've never really even really watched the gameplay on this game. I saw the trailers for it and it's about it, and I know this game has been out for a while, and there's like six episodes on it, so that's why we're playing it now. I didn't want to play it in one episode and then have to wait a month to play next episode, so I wanted to wait till more episodes came out to play the game, so that's kind of the reason I didn't play it yet. For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the wolf, Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. 
Now the North has been ripped apart by, by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forrester Ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. Ooh, so we were playing as House Forrester. <laughs> wow. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees Squire by the Lord men Forrester. of the North. Guard. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Alright. So to pick up, so select and press A to pick up sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Right, only blood. Okay, so... So hold A. Now that is the proper Makes sword. Makes sense. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Bullshit. Ah. Well, I don't hand it in. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll be a nice guy. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch your coat. The night we celebrate. Tonight we celebrate. To Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the, the north. north. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Gods of favors. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. Yeah. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? Uh, it's been on my mind for a while now. Um, Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. You're a good squire. I, I want to be a squire. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Serve me well to bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. Yes, there were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your he name. He will remember that, squire. apparently. Okay, but you've That's erased good. those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. 
Not as a squire. Roderick. But as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Carrot. It's Your long. hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Right. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Uh... Bloody hell. <laughs> Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? <laughs> I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. <laughs> Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, boy. It could be worse. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. Right. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. I'm sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle, then I'd feel different. <laughs> Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? T shut, shut up. Over there. I don't know. The twin stronghold of House Frey. The Red Wedding. Oh shit, this is the Red Wedding. This is what this Take whole thing your time. is. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Yeah, no shit. Why are you carrying crossbows and swords? Hey? Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Oh, his eyes. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you they're don't not. understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. What about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I figured that would happen. We need to get back to camp. <laughs> Missed me, asshole. Oh. Jared, we have to get back. Oh. Jesus. What do you want me to do? Press and hold L. Oh, 
What do I mean you do fight? Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! No, you don't. What? <laughs> What do you want me to do? So crawl to safety. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, what does that mean? Find a weapon, quickly! Shit. <laughs> nice job. This is Gears is epic, man. I love the story of this. Oh no! Not afraid, you fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Come on, help him up. Seven hells. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Oh, you're done for, man. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, by I... your god, you will obey me. He will remember that. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. The North Grove. My lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! No, fuck you. <clears throat> he just grabbed we that. Oh. <clears throat> Better run. Wow, dude, that was intense. Achievement! Through the night. Well, they made their own computer version of the, of the intro, that's awesome. I'm 
Na na na. Episode 1, Iron from Ice. Let's start this, bitch. Forster Lands, the King's Road. Hmm. Use L to move up. Oh, oh, so we can look around and stuff. Use R to look around. Can we go back this way or anything? No. Hello, piggy. Can I do anything with the piggy? No. Guess not. We're just going to keep walking. So this is nothing. Pretty sure if there's stuff I need to... See. Oh, oh, oh. What was that back there? I just... Ah. Uh-oh. Something's on fire. No, oh, wait. That was probably my cursor. What's this over here? Okay. Ah, here we go. Look at cart. Let's go look at the cart. I have to sneeze. God dang. That's father's car. <coughs> God dang. Yeah, it is father's car, eh? Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Oh. Hey, that's my bacon. What are you doing? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? Yes, it is so. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. No, it's not. Lord Bolton not when is I'm the around. new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Never. Fuck you. Dang it. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Uh. Grab that. They are a pig farmer, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Give me that sword back. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> it's my sword. Mercy, please. I beg of you. 
I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only Don't care. Orders. No, please. <laughs> Fucking asshole. White no, Hill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Don't care. You must kill my father. Father? Garrett! You survived. Your sister. She hid. Okay. I tried to stop them. Yes. You did a good job, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn, that sucks. I'll kill the men who did this. Better. You almost did. Stronghold of House Forester. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Good. Garrett! Too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Right. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my webcam. I'm not really uh I don't want you guys just to watch me staring at a screen. This game is pretty intense, though, so if you guys want the webcam on, just say in the comment section, alright? They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's no shit. Unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, ah, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice Ooh. was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It right. was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. No shit. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <sighs> ah. God dang. That's so gross. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. What do we do now? Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Ah, oh, shit. I can lead, possibly. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Right. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Right. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Well, I can. We're good. Go on. Don't stop now. 
It's better to let the blood circulate. Alright. Look at medical supplies. What's this? Look at the Lord's chair. Let's look at medical supplies. Look at. Ew, those are the maggots. Touch. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Okay. Let's see here, what's this? Healing herbs, pick up. This mile. What about this? Bandages, pick up. So just take bandages, okay, good. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. And walk around, look, yes. Look at the chair. Sit in it or anything like that? What about this window? Look at the window. Talk to the maester when you're finished exploring. The Ironwood Grove. Interesting. sword all right uh, let's see here show sword to it's a good thing you've done bringing that back to house Forrester by right that belongs to Lord Ethan now maybe he'll let me keep it Keep moving. I need to see you walk. <sighs> All right. Who was this? Tapestry? Uh, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. Let's look at the tapestry. Look at him. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Right. <coughs> Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Uh, Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Too bad she just died. Rion. Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. And Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Alright, I think we're good. Learn more about the Foresters I'll on admit, the menu. You do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yes. I'm so sorry. Me too. Wow. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. Yeah. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. 
You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, right. my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? Right. What of it? He said, the North Grove must never be lost. You reveal the North your secret Grove. message. Interesting. I see. You have the Forester's sword. Was I supposed this to not tell her? Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan. This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Yeah. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Ramsay. We're the I ones that, that should guy. be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. He said it. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the yeah. torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? What? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I right. know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair. But it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. Right. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Yeah, because I killed one of their guys. Maybe I shouldn't have killed that guy. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, 
I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Ah. Uh, I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Yes. This is important, Garrett. I told Lady Forrester that Maester Ortengrin overheard. I appreciate your honesty. But Lord Forrester's message was not meant for their ears. I'll speak with Lady Forrester, and I'll deal with the Maester. He's the last person I would trust with this information. Which is why, from this day forward, this must be our secret. Soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Yes. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. All right. <sighs> to battle. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. I'm a good guy. What can I say? Garrett, wait! Be safe. <coughs> I will. Kind of. Not really. Three, episode one. Ethan! Lord of House Forester. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. <laughs> he was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Mm -hmm. King's Landing and safe shouldn't be used in the same sense. I don't want die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. 
I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger, and we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. Yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Good. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. Right. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Yeah. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say, so I can have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. <laughs> really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Oh, she's worried. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. Shit. He's come demanding justice. Shit. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I'd rather stay here. Tell him I'm busy at the moment. Perhaps the Lord could play games after he tends to business. Oh shit. He's right. It's okay. You should go. Fine. Let's be done with it. I didn't even hit that. I didn't even know what stay here really meant. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Right. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you wished to stay. If you wish to stay Lord of this house, then show him the same defiance. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. Yeah, All the shit. more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Ah, shit. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. 
My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. Shit. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. Asshole. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Oh. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Ah, oh, shit. Your man, the Squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the King's peace, as his Lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Bullshit. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Oh. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over! Shit. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. <laughs> that lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. He will. <laughs> Asshole. That guy right there. Fucking asshole. Defiance. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives no to see shit. you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. King's Landing. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. King's Landing. And Lady Marjorie's story. betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be.
Right, and I'm looking around now, eh? Look at. Hmm, huh. what's in here? Oh, we got a whole bunch of shit in here. What's this? Uh, look at this coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Look at this. Ethan made this for me. Oh, my nose hurts. Okay. And what about this? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. Fuck Lady Marjorie. It belonged to Lady Elena. Let's, uh, read this. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. Uh, I miss all of you. And I look forward to the no, day... No, just kidding. Lady Marjorie's cool. Anything else? Oh, what's this? Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Too bad he died. I hope to see them all someday. Uh, what's over here? Uh, look at this coal brazier. Not interesting at all. all right, uh, let's see what else is over here. Anything? Anything at all? Nothing else? Oh, let's let's uh, let's look at this note first. Read letter from mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Right. Yep. Shit. Hello? Come on in. Let's look out the window. Ah, oh, we can't, damn it. I guess we'll get the damn door. Hello. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Eh, let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, milady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. It's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Ooh. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's why they know I do. I'm her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? I hate Cersei. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Nah, I don't know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Exactly. Good night, my lady.
There she is. Whoever. Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. All right. Discussions. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. Right. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. Oh. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. What? She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. Yes. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. All right. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Right. Good luck. Okay. You will feel one thing, but say must say another. Got it. My favorite character. You can do this. Tyrion Lannister. Hello. I love Tyrion. Is there anything I can do? Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. Shit. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. <laughs> she only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. They were our wardens. They were the wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever <laughs> for her own good. And she would have us believe Shit. she didn't know which king she served. 
Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Yes. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Oh. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. She'll remember that, but I'll, I'll reassure her. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I said the wrong shit. That was my bad. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I wouldn't want to anger Cersei. And you'd be wise not to. <laughs> but I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. 
Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I said the wrong shit, I guess. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Yeah. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martell. The Red Viper. Right. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. I doubt it. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Ooh. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his I mother. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? <laughs> Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! No. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please, or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Mm-hmm. I like Marjorie. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Hmm. Ask for help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. 
It's about my family. I trust her. I'd prefer to speak alone. I'd prefer to speak with you alone. I know, she'll remember that. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? Yes. Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Come on. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. <sighs> Damn. King's Road, so we're going to the wall, right? Jesus! <laughs> the hell? Seven hells. Seven hells? Yeah. Jesus! Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, Ramsey. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> what do you want me to do? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy, what with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Nothing. My lord? Shh. Listen. Shit. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Maybe I shouldn't have ran? I don't know why I ran. That was a stupid move. Maybe if I stood still. 
Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Right. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. Yep. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Ah, shit. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Me. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! What? We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Shit. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Give us justice. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers, thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Uh, take three fingers. Show him mercy. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you. And to this house. The Lord's judgment. Pretty sure everyone hates me now. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. 
Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Uh. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. But there are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk yeah. to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Uh. I'm gonna choose him. Let me no doubt. He's my, you know, he's big on the honorable man. That guy's just a piss ass. Let's go look at this stuff. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, yeah. we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. Yeah. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. Let's talk to you. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. Yeah. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. I understand, and you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Now, I gotta talk to him. Alright, let's go talk to, uh... You're all worthless and weak. So that's the tower. Alright. Let's go talk to this guy. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. 
You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Right. Uh, let's talk to him. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Not yet. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Let's go up, let's enter this tower here. Wow. Very interesting. All right, two back out. All right, so where's this other guy? Slash right. That means now. I'm probably just going to give it to this guy over here. Might as well. This ironwood shield. I'm gonna talk to him. Look at Ryan. Careful. Keep at it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And wow. this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. Right. He was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. <sighs> Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Yes, you will. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Yeah. Let's continue walking. All right. All right let's talk to this guy. Come on, come on! What did I say? Swords off! Slash right! Parry! Again! Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords! A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No. But they will be. Yes. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. 
Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. Shit. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentiment. No, he likes to he does. talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Let's... What, what's this? Let's look at Malcolm. Swords up! You can lift them! Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. Yeah. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Right. She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Right. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. <sighs> this would be a hard decision. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. What are you concerned about? I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. Yeah. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Let's uh, see what we can do here. All right, let's uh, Duncan. Uh, I'm gonna give Duncan, him the razor. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why? Thank you, my lord. 
I'm on it. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. He's wise and honorable. I don't care if you can wield a sword or not. That's not my preference. I want words. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I yes, am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small <coughs> council at once. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is crazy shit, man. I have a hard time making decisions. Made a pretty stupid one. I could have just cut off his fingers, I guess. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Ah, shit. Give him. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This... this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scout says only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Yes. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. Yes. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton yes. sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Yes. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will use diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. So? Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, 
Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsey's arrival. Right. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsey Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Uh. I'm gonna invite Ramsey into the Great Hall. I'll make Ramsey wait at the gates. Oh, God. <sighs> this is decisions. I will invite Ramsey into the Great Hall. I will make Ramsey wait at. Ah, fuck it. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Yes, we must prepare the house. I hate Ramsay. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done the same tactic I use in Mass landing, Effect diplomacy there are before others war. Who can help us. What about your brother? Asha. We can't convince him? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger, and there okay. is nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate, he acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Yeah. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. Decisions, decisions. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. All right. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. All right. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Yes, let's hope. Let's hope. Lady Marjorie's Chambers, Red Keep, King's Landing. <clears throat> Anything we should know? Strange key. Examine. <clears throat> pick up. Let's pick up. Uh, 
Return the key. I guess I could take it. I'm gonna. Uh, let's take this pick up. I don't do anything to fucking. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that. I'm sorry, Sarah. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me, and she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... Why does she always look pissed? My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? Uh. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear, for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Um. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. Okay. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. Right. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Eh, that sucks. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. Oh. I just want you to know. I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family. If you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully uh, I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Okay. Uh, I'll follow. probably do that. I'll probably follow the kids' help. I don't know. We'll do something. There we go. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. 
Yes. Fucking douchebag. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden no. of the... <laughs> Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. Here. Yeah. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord right. Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. It's the boy. <clears throat> we really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Neil, just do it. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. <laughs> I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. <laughs> you can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. <coughs> so I've come up with a solution that will benefit <coughs> everyone. All right, what is it? The White Hills will be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. Jesus. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Yes. We are talking about This has about always trees. been forest land. We are in you true grow them, You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Yes. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, 
Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. Ooh. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. Whitehill men? Never. It's already done. <laughs> You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? What are you doing, Ramsay? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. Ah, She's quite on. pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave, Lord? Oh, what? No! What have you done? No! But I don't want the brave lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! What? Ethan! No, no, no. Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan. I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian. Wow. Lovely meeting all of you. Fucking we'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly. You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let him go! Let it go! Stop that! Don't please! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. Wow. Hey, Lord's reception. God, that sucks. That really pissed me off. Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Johnson. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? <laughs> I cannot wait to play a second episode. Probably tomorrow. Alright, episode one, Iron from Ice. Uh, let's see here. You and 56% stayed with, with Bowen. Okay. You and 68% swore loyalty to the king. You and 44% freed Eric. You and 64% 64.3% picked Duncan as Sentinel. UMT 7% met Ramsey in the Great Hall. Right. And I'm pretty sure I would have been killed no matter what, so let's continue.
All right, guys. Well, I am Jake. I was Physics Pixel, and that is the stream for tonight. Episode one, Iron from Ice. Um, if you guys didn't watch the stream, go ahead and uh, watch it on my YouTube page. It's being uploaded right as we speak. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe below. I'll catch you all later with episode two of Game of Thrones. See you later.